Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my April wrap up. I know that technically it's the end of May so a lot of people are now posting their May wrap ups but I'm always late to the game. It's kind of like my brand now, always late. So I still wanted to go ahead and share with you guys the books that I read during the month of April so I figured better late than never. I had a great reading month during the month of April. I believe I read a total of seven books so let's go ahead and get started. So the first First three books that I read during the month of April. One of them was a reread, the other two books were not rereads, and it is the final three books in The Giver Quartet. The second book is The Gathering Blue, the third book is The Messenger, and Sun is the final book. I read The Giver, the first book, back in March, and I just decided I wanted to go ahead and read the final two books because I have read The Giver and The Gathering Blue many, many, many years ago, but I wanted to finish out the series but because it's been many many years since I read the first two books I decided to go ahead and just reread the entire series. I absolutely love this series. I think I love the first book and the third book Messenger a lot more than I loved uh, Gathering Blue and Sun. They are all interconnected. All the characters somehow are connected to each other so that's how the story kind of connects. I can't give it too much away because it obviously would be spoilers but I did give Gathering Blue for stars I gave messenger five stars and I gave the final book three stars and the only reason why I ended up lowering the rating on this book was because I just felt like I guess I didn't connect with the story as much as I did with the other book the next two books that I read were also part of a series but it is a D cruel prince and the wicked king both by Holly black this is book one this is book two and these are the Barnes and Nobles edition if you're wondering I decided to go ahead and purchase the Barnes and Nobles editions because they have extra content or deleted scenes towards the end of the book so I wanted to get that bonus content so that's why I bought the Barnes and Nobles edition. I absolutely love these books. I had a lot of fun reading them. I gave both books four stars. It was a really easy read for me. I blew through them. Of course they're not long at all. Both books are a little bit over 300 pages but I just enjoyed it. I think the main character was fun to read and I did love the love interest. It was kind of predictable in some ways but otherwise Otherwise, it was just an exhilarating ride and I had a lot of fun reading it. I read these books so fast. I, in fact, I have already read the final book which is The Queen of Nothing but that will be in my May wrap up. The next book that I read is a book that I don't have a physical copy of and it is Thorn by Intisar Kanani and this was the booktube chicks book pick of the month for the month of April. I really love this book. It is based on the Goose Girl. It's a retelling of the Goose Girl and to be honest I didn't even know that a Goose Girl story existed in the first place place so while I was reading this book I briefly researched a little bit about the goose girl basically this is a girl she's a noble woman I guess she's um, high class and she is getting married to the prince of another kingdom and along the way she through magic switches places with this other noble woman and the noble woman takes her place they switch bodies and our previous princess she becomes the goose girl for the palace while the person impersonating her becomes the princess i love the book i just want to say it was really fun i gave the book four stars my only problem with the book was that it kind of seemed that the main character could do no wrong wherever she went whatever she did she ended up making friends and people ended up loving her it just seemed like she had no flaw which kind of made for a boring main character but she did a lot of interesting things which is why I liked her but that was just my only biggest issue with the book is that it just seemed like the main character had no problems she was just a little bit too perfect basically what I'm trying to say but overall it was still a good story it was really really interesting and I'll highly recommend it to everybody and finally the last book that I read during the month of April is Romanov by Nadine Brands. This is the retelling of Anastasia and I just wanted to say that I absolutely love this book. I bought this book last year. It was supposed to be a Biblio Squad's book pick of the month but we just never ended up reading it and I kept putting this book off. I wanted to read it but I kept putting it off and putting it off and finally I decided that in April I'm putting my foot down and I'm finally reading this book and I did and I loved it. I gave this book four and a half stars. I absolutely loved the main character. Her sister sometimes really a 
annoyed me but overall I really loved the story I thought it was a great Romanov retelling Anastasia retelling I think it was fun obviously the story d is not true to the actual story of Anastasia but overall I think it was just fun to read and I would highly recommend for anybody who's looking for a good Anastasia retelling or just a retelling in general that you don't normally read because I know that I feel like there's not a lot of Anastasia retellings out there that's just me I feel like there's a lot of retellings of other fairy tales or other stories but not of Anastasia so I would highly recommend you guys pick this up again I gave this book four and a half stars and there you go guys that is all for my April wrap up I'm going to try really hard not to be late with my May wrap up I'm going to try to finish it closer to the beginning of the month in June try not to let too much time pass before I do the wrap ups I just I really need to like get a grip when it comes to my wrap ups anyway let me know down in the comments below how your reading has been I know lately things have been very tense just everything that's going on I hope you guys are staying safe out there just let me know how you are doing I would really love to know um, anyway guys thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already all of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter Instagram and Goodreads if you like to follow me on those platforms hope to see you guys on my next video have a good day guys and keep reading bye